Hello, today I am going to show you how to make a simple papaya. And here are the materials. Mix the following clay color to create the flesh and the skin. Take the orange clay and roll it into a lug. And if you don't have enough space like me, you can slice it into a half so you can work on it better. Next, we are going to cover the orange lug with the yellow mixture. As you can see, I had some clay build up from the clay machine but no worries as this part goes under. So cover the orange clay with the yellowish clay and remove the excess clay. And then roll the log in one direction to remove any visible line and create a smoother log. Next, slice 10 mm of the log and start shaping it to a papaya. The average size of a papaya in 112 scale is between 12 to 20 mm. So you might wonder why I only cut 10 mm. And the reason why I sliced it to lower than the average because we still need to roll and shape it and this will stretch the clay. So shape the bottom part by rolling it and making a pointy edge. Roll again the other end and make it narrower than the other end. Sort of like a neck. Next, create a texture on both ends of the papaya. And then using a brown clay, attach the stem to the narrow end. Next, shade the whole papaya with a mixture of sunflower yellow and lemon yellow chalk pastel. And then before adding the green shade, create a texture around the papaya. You can create the texture before adding the shades, but I find it best to add the texture after the first shading because the next shades won't blend so much with the first shade creating a more realistic effect. Next, add the green shading. When adding the green shade, just slightly dust the papaya in circular motion. Slice the papaya using a sharp blade. Don't use a dull blade or this will deform your papaya. And even with a sharp blade, there is a slight deformation but don't worry, just reshape it using your fingers and thumb. And then next, shade the sides of the papaya with a light yellow chalk pastel. Next, remove the middle part and create a hole for the seeds. And while we are here, we can also correct the uneven orange line on top of the papaya, simply by adding an orange clay. And after that, pre-bake and let it cool.
After pre-baking, add the cream clay and cover the hollow part, but keep it hollow for the seeds. And lastly, add the seeds using black clay. After adding all the seeds, bake the papaya completely. Let it cool and seal it with glossy varnish. Thank you for watching this video and had fun on your new project. Don't forget to click subscribe and get notified for new videos. Thank you and see you next Saturday. Bye-bye!